Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Conversations. So we're going to cover a lot of news today and most of them fortunately or unfortunately are from Twitter handles. So if you're not on Twitter, make sure you're on Twitter because a lot of things happens on the Twitter itself, especially always make sure that you're following the right account and not a 4G account. To give you an example, Zepay has got about five to six accounts. Of course, there's just one account which is legit, which belongs to Zepay. But there are about five to six accounts which does not belong to Zepay. And you might feel that this is uh, coming out from Zepay. For example, Zepay, which is double A, then there is Zepay News, Zepay 10, Zepay 12. Right. So definitely be on Twitter, but make sure you follow the right person. Now, what, what we're going to start with is the Vitalik Buterin's news. So Vitalik has actually canceled the consensus 2018, not really canceled as in he is not attending. And the reason he is not attending us, so this is what he's tweeted that I'm boycotting Coindesk consensus 2018 conference this year and strongly encourage others to do the same. And here is my reasoning. Coindesk is recklessly complicit in enabling giveaway scam. See their latest article. So basically this was the article which what Coindesk written. So by the way, consensus is being organized by consensus. Consensus conference is a part of the Coindesk. And what this guy is actually wrote in this article uh, is about the Omis Go price. So Omis Go was price was going pretty high. And what they mentioned is there are two reasons why the Omis Go price is shooting the moon. First one is that Zepe actually uh, started trading. So Zepay started trading of Omisgo and also they mentioned about Bithum that Bithum has also started trading Omisgo but at the same time they also mentioned some airdrop in fact I was very excited about what kind of airdrop is going to happen and it turns out that there is no airdrop it basically a scam that they have spoken about into this article and based on which Vitalik says that I'm going to cancel it and I've asked others to cancel uh, not to attend as well and one of them is of course none other than Omisgo and the reason Omisgo did this also because Omisgo is heavily heavily supported by Vitalik in fact during the launch of Omisgo Vitalik was in Thailand right so Omisgo tweeted that we have decided to join Vitalik Buterin and in not attending consensus 2018 we cannot uh, in good conscience support a publication that puts its readers at risk through a careless reporting and reacts with hostility rather than humility when the error is brought to its attention exactly so i know the cryptocurrency is, is space is a very small space today there are only few articles for example coindesk coin telegraph and uh, news.bitcoin.com there are only few publications which exist into the space and it is very important they are they actually put out the right news out there because there are millions of people who are reading your content and one small mistake can you know make millions of people lose their funds because they seriously trust you i mean i cover most of my news from these reports so what if there is some fault in the reports everything goes to toss so i think they should definitely take a responsibility to only publish the right news now one important thing i want to mention guys that if you are somebody who has invested into zebi ico so for just to let you know the zebi was one of the most successful ico recently from india got invested attracted investors from all over the globe and, and the, what it appears is that they are going to launch their own blockchain. So right now, the fund that they have raised ERC20 token. And this has been, so Box Mining, one of the good channels that you should definitely watch in case you don't. Uh, it's a very good channel for cryptocurrencies, knowledge and news and, and developments around the globe. So he, Box Mining, was interviewing the Zebi's uh, founders and co-founders. And even I was very curious to understand what exactly happening with uh, ZB. And it turns out that they are two, there are two main sectors that are focusing on. One is land registry and the other one is hospitality industry. That means hotels uh, registering all the hotels. Then one hotel that he did mention and ZB has done the partnership is no hotel hotel. Uh, and what was interesting that I found here at ZB is actually 
building and working on its own blockchain which initially is going to be a private blockchain but later on they are going to make it public i really don't know how that plan is going to work out but this is what was the outcome of this interview so definitely if you are an investor definitely watch this even if you're not an investor if you are from india i think it's worth watching the interview because you're talking about series the number one successful ICO from India and the mastermind what are they actually planning uh, for India as a whole so definitely something to be aware of this was something that we spoke about on the live session yesterday that bound box about it was found that about 1600 of Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash was moved out of their mount box gold wallet now why Bitcoin cash because obviously it is a after the fork, it is a similar amount of Bitcoin cash has also been uh, stored in the wallet, right? However, I don't see much of an impact on the Bitcoin price. Bitcoin is back again to $9,253, which is amazing to see. So clearly, it looks like these 1600 Bitcoins or whatever, which was moved out of Mt. Gox wallet are not being sold because if they were being sold, then obviously there would be an impact on the price, but there is no impact. Another interesting news for Bitcoin is also that Bitcoin was the ninth most popular Wikipedia article last year. So this is Wikipedia that we read on the Google and Wikipedia is something that people really find more reliable and trustworthy because whatever is in Wikipedia is supposed to be true, right? So it looks like that Bitcoin was the ninth most read Wikipedia on google this year so this is this is interesting again so this is basically talks about how people are more curious every day and more and more people of course if there's a new person who was who's getting started into bitcoin the first thing you want to do google bitcoin and then you you know the first reliable source of information is wikipedia so that's amazing to see that it is on number nine position and this is something that i want to talk about which is very interesting so it says list this is something i covered yesterday in my news uh, the title is uh, three ways to kill bitcoin and uh, bitcoin is the biggest scam and the couple of points that i mentioned which was there in the mit and i was in fact shocked that how could mit write such an article right three ways to kill bitcoin and not to boast myself and not to uh well, well, well i do feel proud after reading this exactly the point that they have mentioned that this article was such a fake article or not fake really but such a uh, uh, article which does make no sense and by the way this was not written by mit this was written by an independent body right for amy dot so it says the reality is much mundane first of all a lot of people fail to recognize that while the technology review is wholly owned by mit editorially is it is independent from the institute so it this editorial does not belong to mit at all so this was written by another guy and I'm, I'm proud to say that everything that they have mentioned, so they, they spoke about three points, Facebook adopting Bitcoin and uh, other cryptocurrencies coming up. And they have exactly mentioned the same thing that none of these will actually kill Bitcoin. Just to give an example, the last one, uh, the Telegram, you know, what if, so they compared Facebook with Telegram. And then they also compared uh, uh, that what if there are other cryptocurrencies for everything who is going to use Bitcoin and then the response to that well, according to the technology review it's already happening as companies are creating their own coins or token to be used just for their services like Codex ICO to form a currency used to license photographs instead there are hundreds of ICOs and tokens being issued regularly these days however as with the scenario described above they still don't substitute the idea of Bitcoin we don't stop we don't stop regarding gold as an asset just because there are plenty of luxury equivalents. So similar, just because there is silver, just because there are so many other metals, doesn't mean that gold is losing its value. So I'm, I'm really proud of myself that actually I got all the three points correct. And in fact, I said that all the three points are nonsense and make no sense to me. So hats off to me on that. <laughs> uh, this is another one. So crypto has Malta has approved a cabinet bill for the cryptocurrency. So this was pending, even though the Malta did accept uh, Binance uh, to be functioning there in Malta and many more cryptocurrency exchanges have already planned to move to Malta. They did not have a bill. So finally, they have 
passed a bill. So they have passed basically three bills and one bill is only for cryptocurrency. So it says the cabinet of Malta approved three bills on Tuesday, one of which is virtual financial asset bill that provides the regulatory framework for cryptocurrencies and initial coin offering. Clearly, now Malta is more stronger than what it used to be and it has got stronger in a sense that they have a clear regulations and, and people who want to set up anything into cryptocurrency, they can simply follow those rules and set up probably and move to Malta in, in order to grow. This is something that I already covered yesterday, but this is on coin day. So Germany gets its first crypto exchange for Wales. So basically, this is basically a private bank, VPE bank, which has started trading cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. And especially, this talks about Wales. The reason it talks about Wales, because this gives an opportunity for all the institutions, investors to jump into it because the trading is happening through a bank account. So of course, they are providing some kind of security as well. Uh, being an institution investors, but yes, uh, one thing that I can take away is Germany is really, really adopting this cryptocurrencies. And this is another interesting fact about Bitcoin. So there are three facts that we read, two facts in fact. One was the ninth on the Wikipedia, Bitcoin being the ninth on the Wikipedia. And this is another one. So 17 millions of Bitcoin has been uh, mined since yesterday. So as you can see right now, the total circulating supply is 17 thousand bitcoins so how many bitcoins are going to be mined 21 million so there are only four millions to be mined more not of financial or investment rise but i think it's good time to keep accumulating bitcoin there are only four millions left to be to be brought into the circulation but again the last bitcoin will be mined in 21 four zero and the last one that i want to share is if you're using a blockchain wallet right so uh, blockchain.info wallet, I'm not sure if many people do use it, but earlier it was the only wallet that people used to use. So our wallet is temporarily unavailable for scheduled maintenance, but it will be back shortly. We will keep you updated. So if you're using a blockchain wallet and if you cannot access your funds in the blockchain wallet, there is nothing to panic about it. The wallet itself is going under maintenance, right? And the last one is that one of the UK company called Revolt has raised about $250 million and is adding Bitcoin Cash and XRP. So it says London based alternative digital banking startup Revolt has announced today it has just raised a Series C investment around $250 million, meaning the company is now valued at $1.7 million. The new round of funding was led by Hong Kong based GST Global with the existing investor index ventures and Revit Capital also participated. So now they're also planning to list Bitcoin Cash and XRP as a crypto service. Bitcoin Cash ruling all over. Don't be surprised if the Bitcoin Cash price really, really touches the next height. I know it might be a little centralized, but guys, Bitcoin Cash has got a great leadership team. They are all over. And one of the interesting things I also find in one of the, all of these news in terms of adoption and regulation that all the countries are doing something or the other and pretty positive on cryptocurrencies. We have to wait and see how India reacts. So thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.